What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. TL Car Collector. Today is Sunday, February 25th, 2018. I'm just going to show what I got for the past few days. Got some stuff in the mail, did some in-person graphing, some eBay pickups, and also got some reading material. See the reading material in the background. Unfortunately, I can't show anything more than this one here. And I went to a George Tech game. And this old sports illustrator for kids just want to show this in the background because the Winter Olympics is going on. And this kid, Chloe Cam's doing pretty good in the Olympics. And I also got these conference greats cards well talk about. Another box panini. So without further ado, let's show the let's show the conference greats cards. These are from Upper Deck. They came out in 2014. I didn't really buy them back then because I thought they were gonna be like flashback cards. I didn't realize how many rookie cards they had in here. You got a bunch of rookies here. And it's Aaron Murray. I got him in person at Fan Fest. And these cards will come out good sign in person too, because I'm gonna send some of these veteran base cards, TTM. And the rookies, you know, just keep my rookie collection. Jake Matthews, I got him a bunch of times at the Falcons games. The um, new Falcons stadium is hard to graph at, but I used to punish him in um, you know, old Georgia Dome. Once I figure out a graph there, I should get him there. Or if he has a promotional sign somewhere in the city, I'll get him. There's Johnny Football here. I saw another guy get him in, in the mail, so I sent to him, but I haven't heard anything back. So hopefully I hear something back from him soon. James Franklin, I liked him in college, but he didn't really pan out in the pros or in the NFL. I'm not sure where he's at now. I'll have to look online and see what he's doing. If you know what James Franklin's doing, just leave in the comments below. And also, I got this box of Wisconsin cards. Got Big Frank, Melvin Gorman. I got Sam Decker. Hopefully, I'll be able to get these signed in person, Sam Decker and Big Frank. Um, Sam Decker's team already went by for the year, so I won't be able to get them next year. And Big Frank, I believe he's still in Charlotte, so Charlotte's coming through, so I won't try to get him, but he's only one person. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this done or not. And I also got the Sam Decker jersey card. This is real nice. I got to get this signed in person. So that's that. And I got a TTM. I only got one TTM, and last time I checked my mailbox, but it was a good one. I got six out of six for Craig Simpson. He was real nice. I put one of those forever stamps on, those global stamps that you could send from the United States overseas, but... A lot of Canadians don't like using that, so he actually put his own posters on that, so I appreciate him doing that. I got some Canadian stamps, I'm just going to use those for TDM for Canada. Use a, a American stamps to send out from the States to Canada and put the Canadian stamps on, and I'm going to order some more on eBay too, because I do a lot of hockey, TTM, anybody who follows me knows. And also, I got, oh, put this here, I got a Hall of Famer, Gino Marchetti, just for them. PSA DNA autograph collection that a lot of people are doing like Car Cutter 23 shout out to him He actually inspired me to get more of these um, Now what a lot of people do they like to collect um, autograph cards from the days when they were playing They really don't like these throwback cards here. I don't mind them per se. Um, I'll do whatever You know if this is all I got or, or this is the only thing that's available is a good deal I'll get this or if I have a car from their playing days. It doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah, I do it all um, As far as rookie cards uh, Except for the rookie cards. I mean I'm Kind of, that'll be the last thing I'm going to use to get autographed just for the simple fact. I collect the rookie cards. I don't want to risk them getting lost, stolen, or damaged in the mail. So I'll just, like I said, I'll just stick with the, you know, cards in their playing years or them throwback cards. Now, if all I have is a rookie card and I'm going to an in-person signing, cool. Or the guy has like 20 rookie cards and they're not worth anything, I'll send them off. But other than that, I like to keep my rookie cards. But that's personal. That's just my personal preference. I don't knock anyone for what they do. Everyone has a different collecting strategy and there's no right or wrong way to collect, but... Anyway, moving on from that, as far as Georgia Tech goes, got a bunch of stuff here. Well, I'll show the cards first. This from their manager, Danny Hall. He signed one of these. I got Brent Hunter. He only does one per, and I got like six cards left, but I think he's only a freshman or sophomore, so I got a couple more years to get him. This guy's a senior, Kel Johnson. Doesn't really show, well, shows a little bit on camera, but he's real nice. He's always cool to sign. And then this is from Dartmouth. George Tech played Dartmouth, I got him now his kids. I know his last name is Lopez. I'm not sure how to pronounce his first name. I'm not gonna butcher it, but thanks, Lopez. You know, funny story about that. When they was warming up, they was in the dugout. I was calling out like Lopez, Lopez. So the team manager, the manager the team came like I'm circling out here. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get Lopez. All got pointed to cars, and he was like, all right, whatever. Like Lopez, come on, holler, just do. So I mean, I don't know if he thought I was harassing him, I was causing trouble, but he, the manager did call him to get the autograph. So shout out to Lopez and the manager. And Lopez, was like, oh, I'm sorry, I was just. Over there playing around, but I signed for you. He signed all these cards for me. And I actually gave two to Mary Jane, and she got the other two signed for her collection. I'll talk about what she did in a second, which is a good thing, but I'll talk about her in a second. And I also got Trish and Inglis. 
he's real cool. He, he was like signed for me, and he was on all these. And some kids came over, and then he signed for all the kids too. So if you got a chance to grab George Tech baseball, I highly recommend doing that. And there's two more. I just put in the case here. As far as Mary Jane, I'll tell you about her. That's my girl here. If you saw, I had a video of her last year when she's on my videos. But anyway, I'm, I hang around her, do a lot of graphing. Or anybody in Atlanta knows what I'm talking about. But what happened, I bought, she called me, asked me if I could get her a ticket. And I didn't mind because she got me a ticket to the basketball game the other day. So um, I got a bunch of foul balls. And she actually got a couple of foul balls for me too. So these are all the foul balls that I got. And two of them are the ones she gave me. Um, she just said, here, you can take the foul balls and got me the ticket. And I'm like, no, nah, I keep them. She's like, no, nah, I got a bunch and also, this is not a foul. This is a ball I bought from the store. I got a Joey Bart's autograph on here. It's an ugly looking autograph, but he did sign. So I got all these foul balls. A couple of these were actually from the game. Some of these were practice. This was a game ball that said NCAA because they hit this out in the street. And it's so cool that George Tech, once you go in, they, they know who's in there. They know who belongs there. So I ran out in the street and got the ball. Actually, it was a double header. I take that back. What happened? First game, we had to pay it again, and I just paid again because I didn't want no trouble. Then the second game was free, so if you didn't go to the first game, just go in the second game. People just coming in and out, they say, please. So when you, they hit a ball outside the stadium, the, everybody left for the second game anyway, so I stand out in the little cut. So I ran out and picked up a couple extra foul balls. So like I said, this one, this one, I think there's one more. I thought it was one more, but maybe not. Yeah, I'm have a nice little foul ball collection, but I think it's, yeah, I think it's these right here. Here, so these three right here. So yeah, by the time the year's run, a nice little foul ball collection. I might do a little giveaway or trade or sell some of these. So stay tuned. I'll have a bunch of these by the end of the year, and then we'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, that's my own pickups here. Wait, let me show you the ticket here, too. Oh, yeah, there's an interesting story about the ticket. I was the first one to go in to buy my ticket because I'm always first in line from the George Tech games, and their machine wasn't working. So the lady tried to scan the um, ticket in, but it wasn't working. So the ticket salesman, like, hey, let him in. He just cut off half my stub right here just as proof that I was in there, but... You know, whatever. But, yeah, I did pretty good. I love going to these George Tech games. I'm going to another one on Saturday. Then, so the Hawks are playing Phoenix, so I got to get my stuff ready for that. And also, um, there's that Hall of Fame contest for them. YouTube Hall of Fame, the best hall, the best YouTuber as far as card and autograph collecting goes. And I'm working on a list of that. And I feel I should be on it, too. You can't vote for yourself. But anybody that follows me knows I do it all. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey, soccer, NASCAR, golf, tennis, wrestling, rappers politicians you know i got it all so definitely i mean not trying to pat myself on the back but and definitely should consider me for the hall of fame as well but you know how to dress but other than that i gotta run a little put the stuff up get ready I'm do my next video and do a couple other things i gotta take care of today i'm just your boy mr veggie man aka till car collector i'm out of here